let's learn finding number of digits in square root of a given number. If the given number has even number of digits, the formula for finding the digits would be number of digits in the number that is m divided by 2. Here m represents the number of digits in the given number. And what about the odd numbers? If the given number has odd number of digits, then the formula for finding it will be m plus 1 upon 2. Here again, m represents the number of digits in a given number. Now let's find the number of digits in square root of number 4096. How many digits does this number has? Yes, the number has 4 digits. 4 is even or an odd number? Yes, 4 is an even number. So we will use the formula m upon 2. 4 upon 2 is 2. It means 4096 will have 2 digits in its square root. What is the square root of 4096? The square root of 4096 is 64. How many digits does 64 has? It has 2 digits. Now let's find the number of digits in square root of 625. How many digits does 625 has? Yes, it has 3 digits. 3 is an odd number. So we will use the second formula. We will use m plus 1 upon 2. Here m is 3. So 3 plus 1 upon 2 is 2. It means 625 will have 2 digits in its square root. We know square root of 625 is 25. And the number of digits in 25 is 2. Now let's see what will be the digits in 1's place of square root. Can you guess the digits in 1's place in square root of a given perfect square number? You'd say what? No. But okay, don't worry. It's a symbol. I will explain how to find the 1's digit in square root of a given perfect square number. Have a look on this chart. A perfect square number having 1 in its 1's place, its square root will have 1 or 9 in its 1's place. Let's understand it with an example. The square of 1 is 1 and the square of 9 is 81. Both the number has 1 in its 1's place. Coming to the number 4. If a perfect square number has 4 in its 1's place, then its square root will have 2 or 8 in its 1's place. Let's see with the example. Square root, the square of 2 is 4 and the square of 8 is 64. Both the number has 4 in its 1's place. Let's move on to the third example. If a perfect square number has 6 in its 1's place, then its square root will have 4 or 6 in its 1's place. Let's understand. Square of 4 is 16 and square of 6 is 36. Both the number has 6 in its 1's place. Now look at the fourth example. A perfect square number having 9 in its 1's place, its square root will have 3 or 7 in its 1's place. Let's again check out with the help of an example. Square of 3 is 
9 and square of 7 is 49. Both the number has 9 in its ones place. Now, a perfect square number having 2 and 5 in its ones and tens place respectively, its square root will have 5 in its ones place. Let's see, square of 25 is 625. Number 625 has 2 in its tens place and 5 in its ones place. This chart will make your calculation easier, isn't it? One more thing which can make your calculation easier is a number having 2, 3, 7 and 8 in its ones place is not a perfect square. If a perfect square ends in 0, it will always end with even number of zeros. For example, square of 10 is 100 which has 2 zeros. 2 is an even number. Square of 400 is 1,60,000. It also has 4 zeros, which again is even number of zeros. These small things will always make your calculation easier and help you calculate faster. Happy learning!